I knew it. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on one second. Um, so, uh, during my life, I kind of like learned to, to work hard and it felt like it was the right thing to do. And um, yeah. it's, it's kind of the way that they taught me. And yeah, the more clogged your pipes are, the more effort you feel inclined to offer. The less leverage you're using from alignment, then the more effort is required. And it felt like, you know, to a certain degree that I was being rewarded for working hard and I accomplished things that yeah. I believed I couldn't have if I didn't work hard. We are not, we are not going to keep interrupting you, but we want to stick this in here. Mm -hmm. We probably are going to keep interrupting you. But... <laughs> we are not challenging the idea of action at all. We are just submitting that when you reach for the high flying disc first, that when that's what matters most to you and you get good at it, then the inspired action that will come from that will feel effortless. But when you're on a lower flying disc and inspiration comes and it will because momentum causes the inspiration. You might feel inspired to punch somebody in the nose, but it's not from a high flying disc. So when that inspiration to act comes, there's more effort that's involved in it because you're needing to compensate with action for energy. That's not in alignment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was so good. It was so good to understand. <laughs> Esther has taken it to such an extreme these recent days that anytime anything feels like efforting may not even be a word, but she likes it. Efforting every time I'm efforting she says I know I haven't done the energy work if I'm efforting I haven't done the energy work and sometimes she's been saying to us Abraham you know I get it that you want us to be on the high flying disc and the inspiration will come from that and oh how I love that feeling she says but there are some things that I have to do today whether I'm on the high flying disc or not I got to do it today it's due today whether I'm on the high flying disc or not I have to do it today so what can I do to get on the high flying disc? And then she says, and isn't that sort of efforting? If I'm doing a focus wheel to get on the high flying disc, or if I'm deliberately thinking and we say, that's as far as we would like you to take your efforting. Mm -hmm. She texted efforting to Tracy the other day and autocorrect changed it to elfing. <laughs> and she thought, that's much better. I'd rather elf it, elf it than effort it. Uh. So as you're reaching for this high flying disc, what you begin to notice is that the effort factor becomes less. It doesn't feel like you're trying so hard and working so hard because you're not needing to compensate for misalignment and you're carried in the momentum and in the inspiration of the alignment and then life's fun. And that's what Esther means when she says, I feel like I'm becoming a vibrational snob. It's like, I'm not willing to play unless I'm up there. If I'm up there, I'll play, but I don't want to play unless I'm up there. I don't want to think unless I'm up there. I don't want to drive unless I'm up there. I don't want to do anything unless I know that I'm up there. So Abraham, do I effort to get up there? And we say, well, you're just going to have to work this out. After a while, you begin noticing what things take you there and the path of least resistance gets easier and easier. It's so, so cool because I went through kind of like the same um, journey in the past few weeks. And I, there was one specific subject that I started feeling so much resistance and so much so much i was really really try to you know pedal upstream yeah. and then i for the i guess i don't know if it's the first time in my life but i it was so much that i'm like oh well i'm letting go i'm not i'm not doing this i'm i'm i let go and and i was having a conversation with a friend and i said well it feels too easy to let go and then i realized what i said i'm like why is easy bad and, and, yeah. and if because you've been trained to believe in your effort because you live in a world where you're translating vibration through your senses and you can see that the effort to move that chair from there to the, over there accomplishes something so there is this effort that gives you immediate results that you begin to believe in but there is a vibrational alignment that gives you such leverage results that we want you to demonstrate to yourself too. We're not trying to talk you out of action and we're really not trying to talk you out of effort. We just want you to use the energy that creates worlds in the way that you intended. Most people don't line up their energy, create a sort of mess with their thoughts and then use their effort to try to clean up the mess. And if you're not making messes, then you don't have to clean them up. And 
Everything that you want is all laid out for you. There is a path of least resistance that when you get on the vibe of it, it lights up and that's not effort. It's alignment. You said something really important about how there is some satisfaction factor. And we want to say, anytime you're feeling that satisfaction, you're on the right path. When you get that feeling of satisfaction or that feeling of exhilaration or elation, that feeling of wanting something, that feeling of wanting something, those feelings mean that you're in the right vibration and that the path is opening and it's just going to get clearer and clearer and easier and easier for you to see. Our favorite word is you will realize it when you're in the vibrational wavelength of something wanted and you've practiced the momentum of it until the path of least resistance is really flowing your realization. And that's what that satisfaction factor is. It's a realization that you're in this moment right here, right now on the right path, on the right vibe, on the right thought. Uh, so my question, I guess is now I, the, the way I was able to kind of like let go of this stuff is it felt like I was taking a little vacation with my brain, like going some, like not really going somewhere else, but letting go. And now I'm excited to say it in terms of what you've heard here today letting go of what well i i i, I didn't let go i i, I took to, took myself right. away from resistance i guess stay with us for a minute yeah let go is the right word okay letting go of what letting go of letting go of unnecessary futile effort yes letting go of the weakest course of action Yes. in order to allow the most powerful course of action. How does that feel? Well, at first it feels, it feels odd because it you does. don't do it that often. But after a while, you become a vibrational snob like Esther. <laughs> after a while, you'll begin to say, I don't have to work on this. The energy isn't in place. And any work I do is just sort of wasted effort. It's not wasted in the sense that it's going to make me get clear about what I want. But now is not the time to apply the effort. It's not the time to apply the effort. The time to apply the focus is when the energy is moving. You see, that way you direct it. In other words, it's like, do you want to get under the hood of your engine and pull the belts and pulleys and pistons? Or do you want to sit behind the seat and just guide it, guide the speed and guide the direction? It's like that. So let law of attraction be the engine and let the universal forces be the power. And you be the one who directs it toward what matters to you. Yeah. I, I get that and I love that. So, so let's talk about something actual. Talk about something that you may have been doing mm -hmm. when you feel overwhelmed or when you feel like it's not working in the way you want it to. Uh, well, lately, I guess that what led me to this is I took myself away from it. I grabbed a, a pen and paper and I went to get a a coffee and something sweet and I wrote down stuff that I like and 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 that makes me feel good at that moment and then so here's the thing that you're grappling with I was in the midst of applying my action in the way I've learned to do right. and in the way I've been rewarded by others who live in an action-based universe who like to see plenty of action the whip crackers around me who have <laughs> who tried to motivate me to action and so I was accustomed to doing that and I've been doing that, but I was just now inspired with the realization of the futility of that. I'm beginning to understand enough about energy and alignment and vibration and momentum and movement and alignment and resonance that that action began feeling increasingly resistant. I could tell I was sort of barking up the wrong tree. And so I withdrew myself from that behavior and relaxed back into an effort to line up my energy but I'm feeling sort of lazy I'm feeling sort of irresponsible I've got old pipes lazy pipes irresponsible pipes not carrying my own weight pipes not proving my worth pipes I can feel that that's still active within me and those thoughts feel uncomfortable to me. And so I'm reaching for a new thought that feels better and I can't find it because there's enough momentum going. So I'm going to go general. I'm going to go as general as I can go. Nothing needs to happen this red hot minute. Whether I keep my nose to the grindstone in this moment is not going to make any difference in the outcome of this. I have the right and the ability to just relax into my good feeling for a minute. I understand that the laws of the universe are in place. I'm 
getting better and better at applying them for myself mm. I know for sure that I have the ability to focus and I understand the power of focus and I so love inspired action I can feel the power in inspired action and I love the feeling of inspired action I love working in concert with the laws of the universe I like moving toward the things that I want I love that feeling of momentum I like the idea of the leverage of the universe I like the idea of having access to the energy that creates worlds and flowing it through my focus I like results I get from alignment I'm so aware of results that I get from alignment this lighter feeling that I'm feeling right now is a manifested evidence that I'm coming into resonance with my own power I can feel that if I can continue this that ideas of inspiration will begin to flow to me I can feel that this is not only not wrong action right now that this is the most right action that I've found in a while I'm returning to my true empowerment I'm returning to my true nature I can feel that I'm dovetailing with the power of the universe I can feel that I'm lining up with the things that I put into my vortex I believe that law of attraction has been assembling all of those cooperative components and I believe that in this exercise that I'm doing right now that I'm becoming more one of those cooperative components and and I believe that I'm on that high flying disc where I'm on that disc and all of the cooperative components are on that disc with the things that I want that it's not only going to get me really good results eventually I'm getting really good results now because of the way that I feel right now I believe that this is the way I'm meant to feel I believe I'm meant to feel proud of myself I believe I'm meant to feel invincible I believe that I'm meant to feel my own empowerment I believe that I'm supposed to direct the energy that creates worlds I believe that the sifting and the sorting that I've done has all been a about that I believe I'm in the right place at the right time I love my vitality I love my ability to act I want to jump into action I want to make things happen I want to be a cooperative component I want to be the deliberate creator of my own experience I love the feeling of energy flowing through me I love this feeling of empowerment I love accessing the energy that creates worlds I love directing it toward things that matter to me I love the ideas that are flowing now I love the ideas that are coming next I love this world in which I live I love everybody and where they are I'm so appreciative of all of the action oriented people in this world I adore those who are acting no matter what and I so enjoy those that are acting out of inspiration I so love being one who is acting out of inspiration I just love this action oriented inspired world in which I am such a vivid part I'm so happy that I understand these laws of the universe I'm so happy that I've redirected myself right here and now I'm so happy that I found the high flying disc I'm so happy that I milked the momentum of the high flying disc I can feel that I'm now owning it for a while I can feel that now I've done good work and that the evidence of this day is going to show to me the alignment that I've achieved I'm expecting lots of inspiration today I'm expecting lots of aligning with lots of other people that are on this high flying disc this is one of the most productive moments in time I've ever spent I am so happy that I took the time to do what matters most and engage for myself and for the world and for the world at large and for others that I will co-create with I'm so happy that I have become a cooperative component with the energy that creates worlds this is gonna be a really good day ah. <laughs> You just get better and better and better at that and then all manner of cooperative components punctuate for you give you evidence all day today watch what happens your lives will be different just from participating in that high flying rampage your vibrational set point has changed your point of attraction has changed just from participating that much can you imagine what's going to begin to happen as you deliberately reach for that high flying disc and that you don't engage someone calls I can't talk to you why not I'm not on the high flying disc <laughs> Where are you going to the high flying disc? What are you going to do? Milk it. Well, where, but where is it? It's on the high flying disc. In other words, as you begin, they won't lock you up right away. And, and in the meantime, enough wonderful things will come to you that they'll want to be your friend. This is a really good time for us to take a segment of refreshment. Thank you so much.